welcome back everybody thanks for watching i appreciate it so today i'm going to show you guys how to install this charger from start to finish but don't attempt this if you are not a licensed electrician you could potentially really hurt yourself or die so please don't so what comes inside the box is the anchors the charging gun holder this is what the charger looks like and the other side is the wires going into the panel and then the other side is the charging gun itself and lastly it comes with instructions so that's nice so you know what you're doing or you can watch this video so next you're going to want to remove the plate from the back of the charger which is going to mount to the wall to hold it and you're going to want to put the charger really close to the panel because the whip coming off of the charger is really short so it's going to be really close to the ground you're not going to have many options um, once you take off the mounting plate, go ahead and put a level on it and mark out your holes. And then I went ahead and punched out my holes with a screwdriver and a hammer, which is my favorite combo. And then I grabbed some aftermarket anchors because the anchors that it came with were too long. So I just banged in some little plastic anchors that I got from Home Depot. Um, and then from there, when go ahead and take your mounting plate and your four screws, and then go ahead and just zip those in there real quick and make sure to... Uh, put your level back on top of it to make sure that it's level and so nothing is crooked once you are finished so just go ahead and zip your four screws in there and then double check it with the level like i said and then tighten it down and then go ahead and throw the charger on top of it and it is a little bit tricky to get it in there but once you uh, get it in it clicks into place and then you're good to go it won't fall off the wall or anything like that but getting it back off would probably be pretty hard so make sure you uh, got it right in the place that you want in the first place. And then go ahead and uh, cut your hole in the wall below the panel to go ahead and drop in the hard wire into the panel. And once you got your hole knocked out, go ahead and unscrew the six screws um, for the panel cover and then remove that. And then next I went ahead and grabbed my screwdriver and hammer and knocked out the knockout uh, that I was going to use to uh, pull my wire up through and the next part was really hard to get the wire up through um, So I went ahead and cheated and used a little piece of wire pushed it down through the hole taped on the uh, end of the cord attached to the charger and then pulled it up into the panel So that's the easy way to do it Otherwise, you're never going to get it pretty much if you just try to pull it up through the hole so go ahead and pull your wire up through into the panel and then going from there, go ahead and remove the tape from the uh, wire that you used to pull it up. And then go ahead and put in your breaker. This is going to take a 60 amp breaker. Um, and then just go ahead and put that into place. I used a little hammer to push it in. Um, and then I turned it on, checked for voltage, got my 240 voltage, and then turned it back off. And then I went ahead and cut off the ends of the wires because um, this the little eyelets were not going to work in my panel so i just went ahead and cut those off and then stripped out the wire so next i went ahead and landed the ground wire on the ground slash neutral bar because it's a house they are shared so i went ahead and landed the ground wire on its grounding bar and then i went ahead and took the hot wire and landed the black wire first onto the breaker line was labeled in but i did confirm with the manufacturer that it was a hot because it is 240 but I just wanted to double check, so I landed the black wire on the breaker and then the red wire on the breaker and then went ahead and popped out the two spots for my new breaker so I can put the panel cover back on and then went ahead and dropped in the six screws for the panel uh, before I turned it back on. So I just got my uh, panel cover all lined up and then put in my first two screws by hand and then dropped in the last four screws and then got that all tightened up um, and then went ahead and... I uh, got the last screw in there right there and then lastly went ahead and looked away from the panel turned it on without looking um, and then it was all good to go so there you go everything works and then lastly you're going to want to install the uh, charging gun holder so same process you're going to uh, hold that up on the wall where you want to install it I uh, use my sharpie to uh, mark it once again and then uh, went ahead and took my hammer and screwdriver once again and used my uh, aftermarket anchors once again because anchors were too long in the package. So I went ahead and knocked out my three holes, put in my three anchors, and then went ahead and grabbed the charging gun holder 
and then it dropped in the three screws. Um, and then from there, uh, you're pretty much good to go. And then you just go ahead and throw your uh, charging gun in there. And then lastly, all you have to do is wrap up the cord and then that's it. So hopefully this video helped you out. Thanks for watching and uh, God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.